Today is the day of one's reckoning with fate, as foretold by the night sky. Humiliation suffered in the past, the shame we have carried all these years. One bids you adieu, for today it is time for... Retribution! Main Fräulein, if I may be so bold, that final phrase did not sound like one of your own. <laughs> Of course it wasn't. I just overheard it from someone in the city. Uh, uh, ahem. I mean, thy princessin is merely drawing on the wisest and courageous saying she has heard in the land to signify the importance of this day. Hmm, let me see. Huh, it really is someone else's catchphrase. You're here early. Hi. Who have you brought with you? Oh, ahem. Allow Paimon to introduce to you a fabled wandering swordsman of Inazuma and an enchanting musical talent of Liyue. Hey, I'm Shinyan from Liyue. I like rock and roll, sunny days, and good times. You must be the princess Paimon told us about. You sure do look the part. Uh, I hear you're from a faraway land. It's an honor to be in the company of dignitaries. And this lady over here. My family tells me that only the wisest scholars wear pointed hats like this one. Uh, guess that applies to you too? Oh, I like her. She can stay. Shenyan. Your gaze pierces the dark veil of night to arrive at the truth beyond. I am in need of one such as yourself. Very well. You shall be one's musician laureate. She's trying to say thanks. You say all the right things. Um, and the same goes for me too. Pleasure to meet you. I'm Mona, an astrologist. Oh, well, it's nice to meet you too. Mona is amazing. She can find out everything about you by divination. A princess, an astrologist, and an articulate raven retainer. In the company of giants, my humble self hardly deserves mention. I am Kaidahara Kazuha from Inazuma. It is an honor to meet you all. What ho, Kazuha? Divulge thy epithets in thy vocation. Oh, main Fräulein would like to know where you work and what your field of expertise is. Um, I'm afraid I'm just another wanderer. This guy is an expert in the sword arts. He parries blades that none have ever parried before and strikes like lightning. Mere mortals could not hope to comprehend. What? Is he really that powerful? Let me take a look. Oh. Huh? Oh. Oh my. Hi, Kazuha. I'm absolutely delighted to meet a great swordmaster like you. Could we ask you to be our guard while we're on the island? One hereby declares you captain of the Royal Guard of the Imanakreish. For even Lady Magistus to praise your skills, you are surely one of rare talent. Okay, Lady M Mag... Lady Magic... What? Oh, just call me Mona. Stop calling me that weird name. By the way, Lady Magistus, we found out how to get to the Promised Land. A legendary great mage gave us a big hint. Come on, everyone! Follow Paimon!
Somehow, I suddenly don't feel like going anymore. What a, uh, unique little thing. Looks kind of like Guoba, doesn't it? Guoba. Is he the magical creature at Wan Min Restaurant? Now that you mention it, it does look quite similar. Uh, to be honest, even Paimon isn't so sure this can take us to the island after all. Hmm... I see, I see! Only by meeting the lowliest of ends can we arrive at the Imanakreish born anew. Ho <laughs> ho! Behold! The doorway cloven by thundering retribution! By such means as I once descended into this realm to bring retribution, do I now venture into the next Come, Oz. Lead the way. I will enter first. Main Fräulein need not worry. He's in. And now he's gone! Why, this truly is the path of retribution that leads to the Promised Land. Uh, maybe I should just do a quick reading for safety. Lady Magistus, it's fine! This is Alice's creation! It's totally safe! Spare yourself the trouble. Just come with us! All right, I completely forgot. <sighs> All right. In here. Um, can someone turn on a light? Ugh. Hey, quit pushing! Come on now, let's all try and stick. Ow! Fischl, you're treading on my hair! I thought it was a snake! Ah, we're flying! Everyone, be careful. What was that all about? What a beautiful place. The wind is soft and the ocean is calm. And a pleasant scent blows on the breeze. of life, and a land filled with flora. Main Fräulein, we have finally arrived at the Promised Land, whence we shall revive the Imanakreish. Oh, faithful retainers, this is the blessed paradise that one has been searching for. Here is where we shall witness the culmination of all things. I, who command the darkness, shall lead you to yonder gate of dreams. <laughs> <clears throat> shall lead you to yonder gate of dreams. <sighs> your Archmage Magistus thanks you for your kindness, your highness. In this moment, I offer my blessings to the Emmernach Reich. Marna. Oh. What are you, uh... Oh, don't ask, just follow my lead. Oh, oh, right. <clears throat> Praise be to the Princessin, who has led us here to this sacred place. 
my sincere gratitude to you for inviting me to join you on this trip, Your Highness. Your happiness gladdens one's heart. <sighs> How it delights me to bring us all together here at this most monumentally fateful of moments. Now, as I take my first step on this pilgrimage, I shall perceive this ocean of life with my own earthly vessel. After all, this is where my soul belongs. On the contrary, Lady Magistus, blessed as you are with the great power of Hydro, one yet finds too many impurities in thy soul. Mm -mm -mm. Main Fräulein means Lady Magistus is perhaps not the most talented swimmer. Oh, official? That's enough! I'm happy enough to join in with the play acting without complaining, but how dare you ridicule my genius! Think you can swim better than me? Ha! I'll bring you to your knees, young lady! Oh my, Main Fräulein! Steal yourself, Main Fräulein! Oh yeah! Swimming race, swimming race! Whoever comes at last is a rotten egg! Challenge accepted! Heed my words, lowly Lady Magistus! You shall pay for your foolishness for as long as you live! Ridiculous! I've never lost a single swimming race in my life! Bring it on! First one to run to the beach wins! Are they serious? Running? I thought they were gonna swim! I take it you have no present plans. I want to start by surveying the area first. Want to come along? Xinyan, are you coming? Seems like everyone's got things to do. I'll stay here and hold down the fort for now. Mona and Fish will have gone swimming and someone's got to set up camp. Don't worry, I got this. You're gonna take a look around, right? Well, make sure you let me know if there are any good views. Thanks! Will do!
It appears to be some sort of machine. And an army cap with traces of hydro next to it. It seems that we are not the first to set foot on this island. Also, there are footprints here. Fresh ones. Likely no more than a few days old. Really? Hyman didn't notice them at all! Hmm? Traveler, Paimon, stay alert. Why? Did you see something? Someone was here. And they're still nearby. Judging from the scent, they're visitors here like us. There's other people here? Oh, Paimon's scared now. Come on, we need to track them down. You said the cap had traces of hydro on it? Traces of elemental energy! We're close. Watch out. Are you looking for something? A cap! I can't, I can't lose it! I don't know anything! Give me back Cappy Cap! <laughs> Is this the cap you're looking for? My brother's Cappy Cap! Gimme, give gimme, give gimme! Give Sharpest sword in the sheath. Mm, don't bully me or I'll punch you in the. Ah, monster! Monster! <laughs> Stop right there! What are you doing here? Another Fatus? We can ask you the same question! What are you doing here? Hmm? <laughs> Protect Cappy Cap, or brother will get mad at me! Forget the cap! It's your brother we're looking for! What happened to him? Nothing. He has a fever. He's just a little delirious, that's all. I don't have to tell you anything. Go bother someone else! This island belongs to our friend! You better watch what you say, mister! What? I thought this island was uninhabited. That's why we came here to... <clears throat> Never mind. <sighs> Fine. I'll tell you, but then you need to leave me alone. It's a new kind of energy generator that I invented. We were simply looking for a deserted island to test it out on. There. Satisfied? Yeah! And if you don't do as you're told, we'll... Uh... Oh! We'll take his cat! Please don't! <laughs> hey, stop crying! All right, I promise we'll stay within this area. Okay? Oh, uh, by the way, um, why is there smoke coming out of your machine? <sighs> because the cursed thing is broken. As much as I hate to say it, our tests did not go to plan. We were getting ready to leave anyway. We'll just see yourselves out whenever you're ready. Bye! Come on, let's go. <laughs> okay. Hyman can't believe we have to deal with the Fatui during our vacation! 
Why would the Fatui appear in such an isolated corner of the world? Whatever their reasons, it's likely more complicated than we might think. Even though we're on vacation, we should stay vigilant. Also, in the interests of keeping the ladies in good spirits, I have a suggestion. Let's keep this between us for now. Let them enjoy their vacation, while the Traveler and I deal with any potential threats. What do you think? You're so considerate, Kazuha. Paimon, you flatter me. I simply don't think it's worth ruining anyone's vacation over a trivial matter like this. The scenery is beautiful. I hope all of us can enjoy ourselves here. Time to go. Just in time. So, Traveler, Paimon, who do you think the real swimming champion is? Me or Fischl? <laughs> Utter my supreme name and see how Lady Magistus, the presumptuous, is reduced to bitter tears. Oh, no, you don't. Don't put this on Paimon. Oh, wise Paimon. Surely you can discern who the true winner is. Lady Paimon, the time to show your loyalty is nigh. Wait, 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 wait. Shouldn't Paimon get some food in her first? Poor thing looks starving after such a long trek out. Oh, thank you, Xinyan. Yes, we did walk quite a long way. Right? While you were off doing your own things, I caught us some seafood and picked us a few fruits. They taste real good barbecued. Now that you mention it, I'm getting a little peckish myself. <sighs> I too. Well, there's plenty to go around, so dig in. I can't say I've got the culinary skills of my chef friend, but I promise you'll at least eat your fill. Mm, time to eat. Inviting Lady Shinyan here was an astute decision indeed. Paimon's done talking. You guys carry on if you want to go hungry. Uh, I love that barbecue smell. Mm. This tastes amazing. Mm. Impressive. Since Shinyan made dinner for us, allow me to take charge of breakfast tomorrow. I want too! Oh, oh, Traveler, you forgot about something. Uh, let's talk over there. Fatui is bothering you too, right? Well, remember the bomb thing that Venti gave us? We can contact him using that! Wait, no, not a bomb. Venti said it's called a Dodo communication device. Yeah, let's ask Venti if he knows anything. He always seems clued in on everything, so if there's any intel floating around, he'll definitely know about it. Already? <laughs> I know that. 
You're the only person who can contact me on this thing. How come you're sneezing? I'm at the cat's tail. So many cats. They, they gave me some allergy medicine, but it's not working. Okay, go on then. What are you calling about? Could you be any lazier? Alright, well, Venti, there's some strange things going on on this island. We ran into the Fatui! Uh, the Fatui? Yeah, they're everywhere, aren't they? <laughs> uh, the Cryo Archon's minions are a capable crew. I'd be more surprised if they hadn't shown up yet. But they're ruining our vacation! Really? But, uh, <clears throat> you sound fine. They can't have caused you too much trouble, surely. Or, uh, if, if they did, I'm sure you have everything under control by now. Yeah, but something just doesn't feel right. That's why we came to you. Don't you have any information for us? Mm, I haven't heard anything new about the Fatui. Uh, but uh, don't worry. I may be a lowly tone-deaf bard, but you may contact me whenever you need me. I mean, I can't promise I'll be of much help, but uh, at least you'll have someone to talk to, <laughs> right? Uh, sometimes just talking things through is enough to calm a worried mind. Ugh, honestly. Adventuring is what you do best. It's only natural to encounter a few surprises when you head somewhere new, but just remember, not all unexpected encounters are dangerous. The same wind graces the seaside as that which wafts over pastures green. Whenever you see clouds, it was the wind that carried them there. Don't worry, my friends. The wind will always be with you. Okay, then. I have to go now. My performance in the cat's tail is starting any second. Okay, bye. So... He means we don't need to worry too much about the Fatui, right? Well, if that's what the Tone Deaf Bard says, then fingers crossed we'll have a peaceful and relaxing vacation where nothing weird happens at all. When you go off on a long trip with your friends, the important thing is to have fun! Yeah.